Enrique to Maradona. Different class. Different class! When they talked about the great players of World Championship football, this man will be on a pedestal. Diego Armando Maradona. Bilardi, the manager, wants them back to play on the game. But everyone in the stadium, the England fans included, the commentators, the press bench, everybody on their feet in acclamation of one of the greatest goals that the World Championship has seen. All from the feet and brains of one man. To control the play in midfield. It's a brilliant run. It's one of the World Cup great goals. Tend to do, and uh, that ball was played through to him. But here's Maradona again. He has Borchaga to his left, and Valdano to his left. He doesn't. He won't need any of them. Oh, you have to say that's magnificent. There is no debate about that goal. That was just pure football genius. And the crowd in the Azteca Stadium stand to him. Maradona turns like a little eel and comes away from trouble. Little squat man comes inside Butcher, leaves him for dead. Outside Fennec leaves him for dead and puts the ball away. And that is why Maradona is the greatest player in the world. He buried the English defence. He picked up that ball 40 yards out. First he left one man for dead. First he went by Saxon. It's a goal of great quality by a player of the greatest quality. It's England the nil, Argentina two. The first goal should never have been allowed. But Maradona has put the seal on his greatness. He's left it thumbprint on this World Cup. He scored a goal that England just couldn't cope with. They couldn't face up to. It was beyond their ability. It's England nil, Diego Maradona two.